are so beautiful. Okay, everybody, come along in. We're gonna set up the first shot here in the living room, all right? Come on. I'll tell you what, let's uh, set up over here by these French windows. That should be good for us. Yeah, and let's move it, move it. We don't want to be here all day. What about hair and makeup set up, up in that corner? All right. Hey. And, uh... Listen, Josie, sweetheart, why don't you run upstairs and take one of the guest rooms? Don't forget to put a lot of tissues around your neck, you know, because I don't want that dress getting sold. It cost an absolute Aida. fortune. <laughs> Good. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hour. Who's shooting what? Well, I thought Amanda told you that we set this up. Nobody told me anything. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm uh, really sorry, but we're, uh, we're using Daddy's house for a location shoot today. Listen, I think we should move that chair. Hold it. What's going on? Oh, wonderful. Hello. Well, yes, much to my surprise, he is. Hey, it's for you, Mitch. Ada, I'm sorry. I thought you knew about this. Well, how could I know about it if nobody told me about it? Are you going to completely wreck this house? Yes, uh, this is Mitch Blake. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to know about the tax returns on a shop called the Odyssey. That's right, the Odyssey. The owner is Ken Jordan. Come on, light. What's the problem here? Where's Ken? Oh, great, you're back. What kind of magic do you use for this thing? You know, um, there's a man with me. Ken! What's the problem? He's the problem. That's Jim. Don't you recognize him? Jim Little Wolf. You met him at the Odyssey. How are you? Thank Good you. to see you. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you. We both look very different. You're right. You didn't say anything, and I... Where have you been? Now, just hold on. You get some heavy wind up here after I left? We had a major storm up here after you left. I mean, it was sleeting and everything. Well, I got caught out in the open. I couldn't see three feet in front of my face. I had to take cover. Wait it out, so I'm sorry, but I couldn't make it back. The tent hold up okay? Yeah, no thanks to you. Listen, just tell me the next time you're going to disappear for 18 hours. Rachel, these things happen. Maybe you should think about going home. Oh, no, you don't. Jim can take you back now. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. I'm going to see this through. Suit yourself. Nobody's going to scare me off. OK. You sure you're all right? I'm fine. I'm just hungry, and I can't start that dumb stove. All right, we'll get it started. Jim, we need to talk. Good morning. You could have fooled me. Our celebrity in high spirits? Well, it depends on how you define high spirit. Happy he's not. Spirited, oh yeah. Come on, so tap, tap with me, Jerry. This is me you're talking to. Mm. It's got a lot of tests ordered today. Oh, I hope it includes a high colonic and a low GI. <laughs> I'll tell him you said hello. <laughs> Don't bother. Why do you keep giving me these excuses? I hired you because you were a can-do kind of guy. Well, do it, damn it. Trouble in the nation's capital? <sighs> this is supposed to be my AIDS. 
They aid in stealing from me. They steal their salaries. They steal from other people. What are you doing here? I work here. You know, it's funny. You hire college geniuses, and the minute you get them five minutes on the payroll, they, they're off doing the Washington Waltz. Looking good, doing nothing. And you still didn't answer my question. Ah, uh, yes, I did. Look, uh, Doctor, I'm not in the mood for any wiseacre answers this morning. What are you up to now? Uh, right now, I'm trying not to lose my temper. Sometimes it's a real uphill battle. Well, so I make you mad. I make a lot of people mad. It's the way it is, Doc. I'm All sorry. right, well, let me tell you the way it is with me. Your specialists have ordered a lot of tests, one of which happens to be a CAT scan. You and I get to do that one together. I'll be taking you down there in a few minutes. Any questions? Yeah. When do I get out of here? It depends on the test results. Give me the English version, will you? I mean, I don't like Dr. E's. One thing you have to know about me is I will always tell you exactly the way it is. I don't believe in double talk. What I know about this case, you'll know. I believe in patients' rights, no matter how ornery the patient happens to be. I've got a lot of constituents down in Washington that want me back there. A lot of important ones. When I know how long you'll be here, I'll tell you. And when I know what's wrong with you, I'll tell you that, too. Until then, lay off the nurses, will you? They work way too hard to have to put up with your guff. I'll get an orderly to take you downstairs. It's just amazing. I have to get dressed. In all the years I've known you, you've never stopped being the most beautiful woman I ever saw. Bridget has made some raspberry muffins. You feel free you to help yourself. And please unplug the coffee machine you when you when you when go. You listen to me. No, I won't you... listen to you. I can hardly stand being in the same room with you. I don't believe that for a moment. That's your problem. Donna, please, come on. I think you're just the best. When you're, even when you're wearing whatever it is you're wearing. What are you wearing? It's a peignoir, Mike. And you're not going to pull this on me. Oh, come on, admit it. Michael, I don't have to admit come anything. On. We still have feelings for each other. That I will admit. We have love. Hurt. We have incredible chemistry. Anger. And we have incredible chemistry. Suspicion. And incredible and Resentment. Chemistry. And you're wrong. No, I'm not. Come on. Don't you, come any closer to me, Michael. That you want to be close no, to me. I, I want know, you to I leave know me you alone. do. Hi, my boy. Hi. I'm sorry, Good we didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 Bridget. It's okay. I, uh, actually, I got a great idea. How about the zoo? Why don't we go to the zoo? I'll just cut work today, and you and mommy and me will go to the zoo. How about that? The zoo. The zoo. Yeah. Yes, they got lions, Michael. little baby lions at the zoo. Michael, mm. I can't. Sure you can. Come on. Take the day off work. N no, I can't. Oh, please, Mommy. Oh, sweetheart, I can't. I've got to work today. Ooh, well, you could take the day off. I can't. Jake and I have a very, very important shoot today, and I have to be there. Why don't you go to the zoo with Bridget and Daddy? Why doesn't Mommy get her priorities right and go with us? Don't do this to me, Michael. Jake can't get along without you on this little shoot, huh? It's my job, Michael. I don't ask you to stay home from your job. Mikey, come on. Um, let's call Andrew. And then maybe the th three of us could do something together yeah. today, eh? I want to go to the zoo. Oh, yes, I know. And you're going to go, but another day. You see, today we're going to... He wants to, to hear you. You remember you said you were going to call him? Don't do that to me all again. All right, all right, all right. I just don't see why you got to be there for every shoot. Because my presence is needed. I know it's hard for you to comprehend, but I actually have a career, Michael, and people depend upon me. People, yeah, Jake. Yes, people like Jake. That's him right now. Are you going to go to the door in that? I'll go to the door in anything I please. <sighs> Hi. Hi there. You're not ready to go yet. I, just give me two minutes. Donnie, you two were supposed minutes. to be I there. I know when we're supposed to be there. I know. I'll be right down. Yeah, well, I'll wait for you by the elevator. No, 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 no. Jake, come wait in here. How's things? All things, Michael, are just business as usual. I was just wondering because Donna's really wired and I'd really like to know what it's all about. So, what are you shooting? I don't have to put up with this one. Come, come on, come on, just, just tell me, right? A bride fashion thing, okay? 
bride fashion thing, okay. I mean, that's not something that you could do yourself? Donna is my producer, Michael. She's a damn good one, you might be surprised to find out. And not only do I need her there, but she wants to be there because she enjoys it. I see. Well, well, well. How's Visions doing, anyway? Well, we'll be fine as long as we don't lose any more lucrative jobs. Look, Jake, I want you to understand, I did that to protect Donna from Lucas. That's it. Oh, isn't that what you always say when you want to get things done your way? All right, Jake, let's go. I don't want to be late. Darling, give me a hug. I love you, my angel. I'll see you later. Let me kiss. <laughs> Another one. Mm. Shall I have, uh, shall I have Mikey wait up for you? So... Oh, no, thank you, Bridget. I think I'm probably going to be late. Oh, all right, then. Bye, my love. <clears throat> Bye, Mom. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry about the zoo, but maybe we'll do it some other day, okay? I tell you what, now, Mikey, you go out there and you get your coat and your hat and your mittens. We can't keep Andrew okay. waiting now, can here's we? Here's the ball. Where you here's go. Your, here's the hat. Here's the mittens. Where you go. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Michael. Oh, Bridget, you're sorry. I'm sorry. But I understand. <sighs> Was I so wrong in trying to protect them? Well, I'm afraid Miss Donna thinks with her emotions. She's got an awful lot of pride, you know. No, that's what I love about her. You're just going to have to give it time, Mr. Michael. I just hope time is enough, Bridget. Hey, Mitch, do you want us to roll up this carpet and get out of the way or something? Oh, Iris, by all means, roll up the carpet. Why don't you take down the paneling and break through the walls while you're at it? Could I have a hand? Let's uh, roll up the carpet and let's get it out of the way. Listen, Ada, don't worry. Relax. We'll be very careful. Oh, with sure. It, I relax. Relax. Well, I wonder who that could be. Another hundred people with a little more equipment, do you suppose? I'm coming. Why, no, it's Lucas. Come in, Lucas. You. Welcome to the shoot. Hi, Hello, Ada. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. Oh, Ada, listen, would you be a dear and just run up and check on Josie for me, please? You run up and check on Josie. I'm going into the dining room and count the silverware. <laughs> She's not a difficult woman, really. Now, why is a CEO supervising a shoot? I volunteered. Are you nuts? You know me, I like to keep my hand in on the creative end of the magazine. Oh, and be that it's a wedding shoot has nothing to do with it, I suppose. Well, it did sort of get me in the mood. That's why I'm here. Oh, I'm sure. No, I, I, I wanted to get a preview of things to come. I don't believe it. Mm -mm. And this is definitely the place. You know, I never thought I'd ever get married in a house like this. You're not having second thoughts, are you? None. Thank you. Ruben! What's going on in here? Do I look all right? All right, Josie. <laughs> Josie, you look like a vision. Thank you. But this feels like so much dress. Well, anything on you is too much dress. Ruben! I didn't mean it, though. Oh, Never man. I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> What are you doing here anyway? Oh, Stacy asked me to deliver some legal stuff to Lucas. So here I am. So what's up with that dress? Did you and Matt change your minds again? No, no, it, it's just a shoot. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you know, if you're getting married and not inviting me. It's kind of weird, isn't it? I'm doing this right after Matthew and I decided to wait. Ruben, do you think that we were wrong to put the wedding off? Josie, you know how I feel. I think you're going to have it all. Just hope Matthew and I stay as close as we are now. Well, he is the guy that you want, isn't he? Of course. So then what can go wrong? <sighs> I guess you're right. <laughs> well... 
<laughs> I guess I better get that. <laughs> I ain't gonna get it. <laughs> You must be the famous Josie Watts. And who are you? I'm the man you're gonna marry. We may have some problems. With what? I found some marker rocks. Here? Poachers, probably. Grave robbers. They're all over our land now. Poachers, huh? And that's what they were. I spent most of last night watching their camp. You better keep an eye out, Ken. An eye out for what? Rattlesnakes. They're all over the area. One of them paid us a visit yesterday morning. Right. So, Mr. Little Wolf, uh, are you going to stay and help us with the dig? The name's Jim. Rachel. Actually, Jim brought us some water and some supplies. I gave him a list when we were back in Bay City. Oh. And I've got something here for you, Rachel. Yeah? What? Why well, you sleep on it? Oh. I know how tough it is to sleep on the ground for someone who's not used to it. Great. Thanks a lot for the... Wait a minute. What's your problem? How did Jim know I was going to be here? How did you know? You just told me that you gave him this list in Bay City. I hadn't decided to come. Uh, yeah. You had no idea whether I was coming or not, or did you? What is this? Is this a setup? Is that you can look so good in that outfit. Hi. Hi. You know, this is really telepathic. I yeah. was just thinking about you. Well, what's so telepathic about that? I think about you 24 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Why aren't you in court, counselor? Uh, I asked Stacy to cover for me. Um, hey, I need to... Uh, Mr. Charm strikes again. I'll be right back. Look, I'm not going anywhere. Ronnie. Yeah? I need to talk to you. It's really important. Well, now I'm really curious. Is this a universal coffee break? I'm coming, you... you... Jerk. Jerk. <laughs> Isaac. John, how you doing? Good to see you. Calm down. <laughs> so now you stay here and talk to Zach and calm down. I'll take care Thanks. of everybody's favorite politician. <laughs> Thanks, John. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so what's so important? Uh, Washington, D.C. Hmm? You know. Cherry Blossoms, the Potomac River. I mean, it's a nice place. Washington. Yeah. I've never been there. You'll love it, Ronnie. I will? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's a little hot in the summer. But in the springtime, the cherry blossoms bloom. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about, Zach? <laughs> um, I've got a big decision to make. And I'm hoping that you'll help me make it. Okay, what are we deciding? I've been offered a job in Washington. There's no getting around it, Congressman. It's bad news. We've got to get that bill passed, Ted. No, I've uh, tallied all the swing votes, and we simply don't have enough. But it was just a racketeering bill, for crying out loud. I mean, we had it in our pocket. Who turned? Who changed? Oh, Fleischer and Swenson. Oh, get the speaker on the phone. I already tried, sir. I can't get through. Damn it. Five years of hard work. And five years right down the drain. <sighs> damn it. And here I sit in the damn hospital bed. Damn it! I'm sorry, Congressman. Yeah. So am I, Ted. So am I. Any instructions, sir? Nope. No, I'll, uh, let me think it over. Just leave me alone for a while. Right. I'm sorry, sir. I'll call you later. You okay? Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. You need anything? No, no, I'm fine. Fine. 
The doctor. Yeah. Hey, listen, those, um, those test results, are they back yet? Some of them, not all. Uh, this, this thing that I have, it's bad, isn't it? Mm, shall we have a, a small, tasteful, intimate wedding? Whatever you want, darling. Oh, will we invite everybody we know? I think that might be a little bit unwieldy. Oh, no? who cares? I want everybody in Bay City to celebrate oh. our wedding. Hey, listen, will we have a Skyrider? If you want. Oh, you know, that's why I love you so much. Why, because I'm a pushover? <laughs> no. Because you're to leave me to organize the little things like a wedding and an oh, engagement. And not to, uh, to mention all the other things of import. Exactly. Oh, listen, are you gonna stay and watch the shoot? No, I can't. I have to meet Michael in ten minutes. Well, what have you got to meet Michael about? Well, I may need him in case my, uh, I go to trial. Stacy told me that the DA was thinking of making a deal. Yes, he was, but he's talking tough now. It seems like there's pressure from Washington to get tough on types like me. Lucas, why didn't you tell me this sooner? Why, so you could worry? Yeah, so I could worry. I want to worry about you. I want to be involved. You know, I have got influence. I wish I told you. If I need you, I'll ask. Don't call us, we'll call you, right? Lucas, just the guy I was looking for. Hi, how you doing? Hi, Ruben, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> That's my specialty, tracking people down. Oh, oh uh, Stacy wanted you to have this. Well, thank you very much. Tell her I'll call her later. Sure. Excuse me. Brad? Hi, I'm Lucas. Hi, Lucas. This is Iris Wheeler. Iris? How are you doing? Uh, have you two met? Oh, yeah. Josie's been teaching me the ropes. Well, I introduced him to Mitch and the crew. She's been great. Hmm. Well, why don't we take a few minutes and you two just relax and uh, get to know one another, all right? All right. These two are going to be great together. Yeah, didn't I see him the other night on television? Oh, yeah, this guy works all the time. He's in a, a pilot for a series, a co-starring in a feature that's coming out. Oh, well, I'm glad we got him before Hollywood. Kid is hot. Mm -hmm. Just like our little Josie. Yes, our two rising stars. Mitch. Yeah. I want a lot of close-ups of these two guys. Everything from, from steamy to formal, okay? Right, Lucas. And, and make it sexy. Keep the lighting low, all right? Lucas, I know what I'm doing. I know what my job is. You know, between him and that Iris character, I don't I know. I will be glad when the day's over, Reuben. Well, you know, if you want me to, I can try to find Matt and just suggest that he's drop by. You know, maybe that's a good idea. I want an answer, Ken. <sighs> yes. Yes what? It was a setup? In a way. Why? I knew if I told you you couldn't hack it, you'd insist on coming. You knew that? I was right, wasn't I? being manipulated. All you had to do was ask me. You wouldn't have come. You wanted me to be here? Very much. Why? Well, the fact is, I... I need the help. Digs are hard work. Would have been murdered to try to do this alone. Well, then why were you trying to get me to leave? I wasn't. Well, what was all of that about going home? <laughs> I was just trying to afford you a graceful way to get out of here. The tough part is still ahead of us. Oh, you feel like you want to get out? I'd understand. I don't want to. I want to see this through. You like it here that much, do you? I love it. I, I love what we're doing. Okay. Good. Let's get some work done. We're going to stake off a new area over here. And you're going to start digging. Okay. Where does he want to start digging? It's all right, I can do it. Don't worry, there's enough to go around for everybody. You'll get your share of digging. He's sort of a difficult man to get to know. That's because he's a coyote. He's a what? A coyote, one who plays tricks. 
tricks. What are you talking about? You'll have to find out for yourself. But remember one thing. The coyote is never what he first seems to be. Something wrong with that? As far as I can tell, everything is. It doesn't work at all? Do you know anything about these things? No, nothing. Well, I'll leave it for Ken. He'll fix it. He's good about stuff like that. Another coyote trait? He knows about electronic things. Tell me more about the coyotes. They howl. You said he's not always what he seems to be. That's right. How is he not? As I said before, you'll have to find out for yourself. Yeah, you did say that. You finished digging? Now I'm taking a break. Smart. Pace yourself. You need your strength out here. How long are you staying with us, Jim? I'm not staying with you. I'll be gone by sundown. Oh. I've got my Land Rover down by the draw about five miles if you want to go back. What is this? Is this some sort of campaign to get me out of here? Is there something dangerous that you guys aren't telling me about? Out here, it's always a little dangerous. Well, I can take care of myself. Maybe. But the danger... Sometimes you don't even know what it is until it happens. Jim's right, Rachel. You decide to stay now. Look, I've made my decision, okay? I'm not going to take responsibility. You don't have to. I take responsibility for myself. End of discussion, all right? Suit yourself. I've got a bum radio here, Ken. Oh, yeah? Let's have a look. Very nice. Uh, yeah, just keep your shoulder right over her left shoulder and uh, cheeks together and big smiles. Don't oh, forget wow. to smile, Josie. Yeah, hold it, hold it, Mitch. Hold it. We, we need some more powder here. A little bit. Hey, everybody. Too, she's shining. Hope we're not late. Hi. Well, Sorry. as a matter of fact, you are. So could you set up, please, and move it? Uh, Brad, when uh, when you go back, if you would, just put your uh, your left hand across her waist. That's very nice. Very nice. Let's try that. Don't forget to smile now, Josie. Very hey, nice. Darling, Come on, Josie. Me. Smile. You can do that. Mitch, we're not going to be in your way over here, are we? No, no problem, Jake. Great. Listen, I want you two to try and capture the excitement and the ambience of this new magazine, you know, featuring this hot young couple. You yes, have to Iris. Show to the advertisers. Thank you. We're the ones who made the proposal. We know what we're doing. All right, now, this is the bride and groom, Josie and... Uh... Brad. Brad Stone. Brad. Oh, listen, uh, fix his hair, please, sweetie. He needs... Uh, no hairspray, though. No hairspray, okay? I think he should have his hair slicked back, actually. Why don't you it... just attend to the video, Gary? I think we'll shoot it from this angle up here. Come on. Hey, Mitch, you busy? No, what's up, Ruben? Um, I don't want to blow your concentration or nothing. Did you see Matthew? He's in class. Well, that's what I thought, but you tried anyway. I appreciate it. Are we ready here? If we're ready, uh, let's go back to where we were. Brad, uh, shoulder behind hers. Nice smile, very nice, perfect. A kiss. What? Kiss. I want a romantic embrace. Something romantic. Kiss. Maybe it's good I didn't get mad. But, um, <clears throat> I have all this lip gloss on. And... Oh, don't worry about it. We can fix it up later. Oh, just, just a minute. What? Um... Well, I just, I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> well, hey, look, I'm sure you're real good at it. Just relax, okay? Ah, uh, can we take a break? I, I need, I need a break. Would that, would that be okay? Well, we're already running late. Okay, everybody, five minutes, but nobody go away, okay? Ruben, Ruben, what am I gonna do? Well, first of all, you're gonna calm down, okay? Uh, this is no big deal. Well, it is to me. I mean, it's not every day I just kiss some complete stranger. <laughs> I, um... I, uh... I've, I'm just getting over this cold and, well... 
I'd hate to give it to you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's no problem. I got fantastic white blood cells, and I haven't been sick in years. Oh, well, how lucky. Well, it's not luck. It's a lot of hard work. You know, vitamins, exercise, organic foods, Excuse canting. me, excuse me. Uh, Josie, I got an idea. Tell me. Just close your eyes, pucker up, and think of Matt. You are brilliant. Well, thank you. I'll try it. I'll, I'm going to okay, try it. everybody, back to work. We don't want to be here all day. Come on. I'm ready. Are you ready, Brad? Well, I've been ready since I got here. Just close my eyes and think of Matt. Just close my eyes and think of Matt. Hey, who's Matt? My fiance. Josie? Yes. Brad, if you would, shoulder, cheek to cheek. Very nice, very close. OK, come on. What are we waiting for? I have an even better idea than your friend Ruben over there. Come on, get on with it. Forget Matt. Great. Fantastic. Dynamite. Great. So, can I count on you? Can I count on you? What for? To sever your connections with organized crime. Organized crime? Come on, you make it sound like I'm in the underworld. I have some deal with a godfather or something. Come on, man, you weren't exactly a small-time wrestler, all right? I wasn't exactly a heavyweight, either. Besides, it's behind me now. <laughs> you say that now. It's really easy for you to say that now. All right. What can I do to persuade you? I don't know. You mean I'm supposed to just take your word for this? Yes. <laughs> to testify for you. You're the most credible witness I can come up with. Look, I can testify that you shot Griffin and saved my life. <laughs> yes. But I can also testify as to why the club was after you in the first place. Yeah, well, that would hurt. That would hurt like hell. I thought you were going to bargain your way out of this. Well, it looks like a long shot now. Why? Because somebody up there hates me. A congressman. Name of Grant Harrison. Well, I'll tell you what we can eliminate. <laughs> now, what is this going to be, the good news or the bad news? The good news is we can rule out thyroid and neurological disorders. But I assume your specialists have already told you that. Oh, yeah, I get a lot of polysyllabic words with uh, Latin roots. <laughs> Sometimes doctors have problems with communication. Let me ask you a question. Do you doctors, do you doctors take a course in gibberish one? I'll try to pare down the syllables for you. Dr. Hudson? May I see you outside, please? Sure. Give me five minutes, okay? Sure. But come on back. I want to hear what you have to say. All right. Just what do you think you're doing? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Who gave you permission to discuss this case with the patient? I've been assigned to this case. The patient asked me a question. I think he deserves a straight answer. You are not the attending physician. You are to keep your opinions to yourself. Well, Dr. John Hudson, you are vulnerable. Don't look so serious, Ronnie. Look, how can I not be serious, Zach? You're talking about leaving Bay City. Look, I haven't made any decision yet. It's only an offer. But I thought you loved working with Cass. Look, I can't believe you're even considering going to another firm. No, this is a government job, Ronnie. It's not with another firm. It's with the Office of Equal Opportunity. It's a per terrific position. Oh, God, you sound so s excited about it. Look, I'd be a lot more excited if I knew you'd be coming to Washington with me. You know, I've heard of this Congressman Harrison. He's trying to push a racketeering bill through Congress. Yeah, I hear it's got a good chance of passing. Except it has civil liberties opposition. I'm not worried about his bill. I'm worried about his committee. They're uh, looking at some cartels and seeing how they uh, launder their drug money. Some cartels. Uh, like, perchance, the cartel you were working with? Could be. But if they pick stolen art, somebody's going to be pointing a finger at me. <clears throat> Well, it sounds to me like Congressman Harrison would like nothing more than to have you testify before his committee. Yeah. It's called making political hay. 
call making a hell of a lot of heat for you. It's gonna be a three-ring circus. Magazines, front page articles, TV. I can't stand that kind of heat. Well, what are you gonna do? I have some ideas. But I don't know where Grant Harrison is. Hi. Hi. Had a little run-in with your chief of staff, huh? Ah, well, I survived. <laughs> You're a little bit of a rebel, aren't you, Doc? Well, uh... Yep. Look, I don't want anybody to know where I am. I don't care. Just make up a story. It doesn't matter. Why all the secrecy? Oh, well, I got a bunch of jackals that are nipping away at my feet. If they find out my weakness, they're gonna be going right for the throat. You're quite a gift for imagery. Well, it's just the way I feel. I mean, they'll start ripping all my programs apart and eating away at all the political support that took me years and years to build up. You make Washington sound like a war zone. You know, it's not only Washington, it's, it's all over. I mean, you've got your own war zone right here. Your own enemies. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Take a word of advice from somebody who's been there. Watch your back. Well, you know, I can't really speak for somebody else, but, um... You know, when he did go away... Now, he always came back to see you, didn't he? Hmm? Didn't he? And you know why he did that? Well, I'm going to tell you. He did that because... Because he loves you. And your mom loves you. And I love you, too. Else, why in the world would I ever make you chocolate chip cookies every time your little heart desires them? <laughs> you know, I think I can smell them. I better go and have a look, eh? Hmm? There you go. Bridget, Bridget, I love you too. Oh, my, Kitty. Oh, my. Come on, give me a. Oh, oh, look at the hug. Oh, you're a fine laddie, you are. <laughs> Well, we'll go have a look at them right now, then. Oh, my. I think we can do this one without the bouquet, all right? Okay, Josie. Well, very nice. Very nice. Doesn't she look go. gorgeous? Uh, did you wear a dress like that when you got married? Yes, one of the times I did. But not when you were Josie's age. No. Well, who knows? You may get another shot at it. What? Another wedding. You are getting a divorce after all, right? I don't appreciate the sarcasm. What did I say? It's the callous way you said it. Well, Donna, I'm a callous guy. You ought to know that by now. Just do your video. You didn't answer me. I think we should try to get over to the other side and do a different perspective, don't Not you? until you tell me what's going on with you and Michael. Are you two schmoozing or we can get back to making tape here? We're just discussing camera angles. Well, a little Cyrus. bit less discussion, please. A little bit more work. Now, I want you to get some shots of me directing the kids, OK? If I'm such a nuisance, why don't you take over for Jake, a while? Jake, I'm management here. I can't do this. Don't forget that. Mitch, I hate to interrupt, I but... thought you were guarding the silver. Well, I was, but the phone is jumping off the hook. I mean, with Iris and Lucas, doesn't anybody pick up the phone out here Why for Pete's sake? Why don't you just leave the machine on? Well, it's a good thing I didn't, because there was an important call for you. Okay, then where do you want me to take it? Well, don't, you can't. He left a message. Which was? He said to tell you that the business that you asked about hasn't shown a profit for three years. That was it? That was it. That sounds like a shrewd investment. Mitch, what are we waiting for? I'll be with you in just a minute. That guy was talking about the Odyssey, wasn't he? Yes, he was, Ada. You're checking up on Ken Jordan. Look, Ada, if he's not making a living with the Odyssey, then what's his real business? Then why does he have to have a cover-up? I haven't seen Jim for a while. He left. Rats. 
I wanted him to take a message to my family. <sighs> Rachel, is he... You had a chance to go back. You chose not to take okay, it. Okay, okay. Just skip it. I'm sorry I brought it up. All right, I'll shut up. Did you guys uh, fix the radio? No. Well, you think you could? All right, let's have another look. Good. I thought Jim left it right here. He did. Well, it's not there now. Well, did he take it with him? Are you kidding? Jim hates those things. Well, where is it? Well, where did it go? Wait a minute. What were you guys talking about? Lots of things. You guys were talking about somebody being around here, weren't you? That's what you're worried about. Can answer me. I have a right to know. If I knew, I'd tell you, Rachel. The only thing I know right now is that we're really on our own. Just the two of us. 